I always had to be so good, no one could ignore me. Carve my path with data and drive. But some people only see who I am on paper. The paper ceiling. The limitations from degree screens to stereotypes that are holding back over 70 million stars. Workers skilled through alternative routes rather than a bachelor's degree. It's time for skills to speak for themselves. Find resources for breaking through barriers at tetherpaperceiling.org. Brought to you by Opportunity at Work and the Ad Council. Motor Food is Lincoln's hardest rocking food truck and cafe. Motor Food creates old school comfort food with a 21st century twist and lots of rock and roll attitude. Try the barbecue pulled pork mac and cheese, the grilled chicken firebird sandwich, a 100% all beef split grilled hot dog, and any version of their funky fries. Stop by the cafe just behind Outback Steakhouse on 48th Street or catch the food truck out and about all spring and summer. Check out their menu, order carryout, or schedule catering at motorfoodtruck.com. I wanted to quit for so long, but I didn't know where to start. I was afraid of what people would think, but then I found the right support to start my recovery journey. One in 14 Americans reports experiencing a substance use disorder, a treatable medical condition. Treatment can take many forms, so there are a variety of options to explore and find the one that works best for you. Recovery from drug addiction is possible. Paid for by the CDC. Sponsored by Nebraska DHHS. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Nebco is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mix Concrete, Husker Concrete, and Beatrice Concrete. Nebco offers great pay, medical, and retirement benefits, paid time off, and we pay for CDL training. Apply today to earn an average total compensation of fifty to sixty thousand dollars your first year driving. From Nebco's beginnings in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit nebcoinc.com. That's n-e-b-c-o-i-n-c.com. The dangers of secondhand smoke are well known, but what about secondhand aerosol, which is created when using e-cigarettes? Science already shows a secondhand aerosol can contain nicotine heavy metals, and cancer-causing agents. Eliminating exposure to secondhand aerosol is an important step to keeping everyone safe. Breathe easier knowing the facts. For help quitting, call the Nebraska Tobacco Quit Line. 1-800-QUIT-NOW. 1-800-784-8669. Paid for by Tobacco Free Nebraska. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Live from Koppel Chevrolet GMC Studios in the heart of Lincoln, America. Welcome to the Ticket Weeknights. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right. Welcome to Speed and Power on 93.7 The Ticket. Quick shout out to AKRS, your premier John Deere dealer, is looking for the best talent across the country. Check out current openings at akrs.com, career to apply online. I'm your host, Megan Walker, and with me tonight, I have got Harrison on the board, as well as the one and only Juwan Gary from the Huskers basketball team. Juwan, thanks so much for coming on. Definitely no problem. Definitely no problem. Love it. Okay, so let's let everyone know a little bit about who you are. Um, pretty sure everybody knows who I am. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 but now I'm Juwan. You know, transfer from Alabama University. Oh, play on the basketball team for Columbia, South Carolina. No too special about me. Just you know, Colin Husker for sure. Go be red. <laughs> I love it. So, how was your first season at Nebraska? Um, it was a great experience. Just from a crowd standpoint, you know, I didn't. First of all, I never knew a Nebraska was a real place. Don't get me wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, just for being from the South, you don't really hear about Nebraska. But, you know, um, Bryce McGowan, Trey McGowan, those are my best friends for sure. So, you know, they gave me the rundown, like, what can I do for the team, what I'm going to expect. So, you know, came in here with a chip on my shoulder just to prove who I am, who I'm going to be during this team. You know, the season wasn't a great season what we wanted to have, but it was a fun season because, you know, fans – Came to every home game and sold it out, like, just from just us playing, having a great season. So I liked how the fan came and supported us every season. Um, win or lose, it was still a great support from them. But, you know, but like I said, first season here, you know, coming back next year, I feel like it's going to be a, a better season for us for sure. That's awesome. So you definitely felt supported from the Nebraska community. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the way you guys, uh, especially, you know, you lose two starters, but I think the reason – at least in my opinion, why the crowd responded so well is the resilience. Like you guys could have laid over. Like you had a million excuses in the book. If you're looking for reasons to just kind of coast for the rest of the season, mm-hmm. I mean, you guys had it all. But oh. it was just a lack of fighting. You know, you're losing two starters. Things aren't going the way you want. Uh, but then you had a little drought there, and then all of a sudden Sam Hoiberg starts coming alive. Mm-hmm. You start coming alive. I mean, we start getting all these players. Uh, you know, even Keita. I don't want to keep him out of the mix, but everyone started pulling together and. 
you know, these guys off the bench, we didn't even really know, you mm-hmm. know, how many of these guys are ready. Cause big 10 basketball, it's just a different beast. Mm-hmm. It's just bruising. And if you don't know what you're doing out there, they're going to expose you real quick. Okay. So I mean, I guess, what do you have to say about, you know, just the team's identity at that point in the season when it felt like everything was going South, but you guys rebounded and almost just forged a new identity out of necessity almost. Oh, um, like you said, two stars going down, me and Emmanuel, you know, it was kind of a, kind of a down for a lot of people, but you mm-hmm. know, um, it was the next man up, like Denham Dawson, Sam Hoiberg, you know, Blaze Keita, like they really was in practice every day, you know, working on their craft because, you know, their name was going to be called anytime, mm-hmm. you know, Sam Hoiberg beating, you know, Coach Fred's son. I mean, it really didn't matter to him, like, he called him the mayor now, so you know, <laughs> <laughs> we call him Seatbelt Sam, so stuff like that, you know, he's just a hard player, like, he don't really care what he brings on the court, but at the same time, he's just going to play hard, you know, Denham Dawson was a a big effect when I went down just from yeah. an athletic standpoint, you know, rebounding, you know, crashing the board, stuff like that. You know, Blaze, you know, that's my guy. I love Blaze. That's, <laughs> that's my guy. You know, he's a big rebound type of guy, you know, physical type of guy. But, you know, a lot of people going to not be knocked down by the same time as always that next man up. And I'm glad those three was always the next man up. Like, Willie B, um, even Ole came in the game and affected the game a lot of yeah. times. So, um, they was already prepared. Like, like, at the end of the day, we basketball players. You always got to be ready to play. So, you know, it really wasn't a big – Big effect for us, but at the same time, the next man that was always prepared. And then uh, was that defensive identity, was that something that you guys were trying to carry with you all season? Because uh, it just felt like, especially later down the stretch, uh, obviously Sam Hoiberg was popular because those OT steals are mm-hmm. going to put you on the top of any social media feed. But down the stretch, it felt like you guys really dug your heels into being a defensive unit. Was that kind of the vibe you were getting on that roster? Um, Coach Fred, like when I first got here, his big emphasis was defense. Um, that's why he recruited me. Come mm-hmm. a big defensive player. Um, like anybody can score the ball. You know, any Sam, you know, Eme, D Walk for sure. Um, can score the ball. But in the day, like who's really going to settle on defense and then get a stop? And when it came to getting a stop, it made it way more fun because you get steals, mm-hmm. blocks getting transition, getting alley hoop, stuff like that. So the defense was a big part of who we was and who we became. So I like I like the way we play defense this year for sure. Yeah, it's super exciting. And again, like uh, the mayor out there just making those <laughs> deals. I'll say one thing about him, though, and just the roster in general, I mean, you guys, it looks like you guys took the weight room seriously. Like, I don't, I don't really remember, Megan, maybe you can speak on this. Like, I don't, I know it's just your freshman year, maybe not. <laughs> But I'll be honest, like some of these teams in the past, like I haven't seen such like rapid growth. And I don't know if it's just guys just taking it that seriously in the locker room, but just a lot of surprising athleticism coming out of the group that, I mean, even Brian Bach looks like he was moving a lot better this year, which I wasn't really anticipating. So just kind of what was that off season like? Everyone getting ready? Um, The summer workout, I ain't gonna lie, was probably the best time I ever like felt good after a summer. You know, um, my man, Kurt Joseph, our strength conditioning coach, really emphasized a uh, like, strength conditioning and stuff like that but he didn't want to make it to the point like we just lifting mad weights like right. you know we worked on our stamina running technique mm-hmm. you know mobility like stuff like that so that really that summer was a real good thing for us because we bonded as a team you know having new guys having old guys coming back but that summer was a great thing for us because we really got mad strong connected you know stuff like that but i shout out to my man Kurt because he really did it all for sure Absolutely. And again, if you guys want to join the show, we are streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. You can ask your questions there. Uh, we're also on Allo, channel 951. You can catch pretty much all the shows, even through the middle of the night. We got those reprogasted for you. And if you're just listening on FM Airwaves, start Hayman text line 402-464-5685. You can join the show that way. And uh, Megan, I know you guys got some uh, Lincoln's Pub. Oh, yeah. Shout out to those guys. What you guys get today? Juwan got a burger, which was very picky. And then I got a BALT, <laughs> which is my favorite. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, you, you were having this conversation. What do you mean he's picky? Picky eater? Apparently, Juwan is very picky about what he eats. You're right. You're right. <laughs> because it's some things out here who got bad texture. Like pickles, <laughs> tomatoes are not it on a burger. A plain burger with lettuce with ketchup and mayonnaise and mustard is totally fine with me. Just so, like, saying. looks, are you basing it on, like, looks or texture? Nah, texture. Cause texture. I don't care how I look. Like, a strawberry <laughs> looks sexy to me, but it's not good. <laughs> so, are mushrooms out? I got oh, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> mushrooms definitely out. What about onions? That's kind of crunchy. Cross out. it. Cross it. <laughs> hey, it. you're still a good basketball player. I guess food doesn't really matter to you. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> Does so the you- nutrition table have a hard time getting you to try to eat because you're a picky eater? It, they, tr- <laughs> they surely do because, like, say we get, like, a steak. I hate my steak with any pink in there. Like, <laughs> I get a well done, and every time I get a well done steak, Coach Fred, I'll be like, 
why you eat a hockey puck? I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> like, you eat your straight, this straight meat. I'm like, yes, it's good though. But that A1 sauce make it way better. So it's totally fine with me. Do yeah, you, you might get cross eyed in the Midwest for a hockey puck steak, <laughs> but we'll let it slide. Do you eat at the training table for every meal? No. What do you do instead? I go home and cook. You know, make my good old Alfredo pasta, you know, with some garlic bread, call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So you just suffered a shoulder injury. Mm -hmm. Yes. And have you, you had a previous ACL injury. Mm -hmm. Was it your freshman year? Mm -hmm. So how have you been handling with being out? Um, so I would say my freshman year, you know, that's really was my biggest, you know, injury I ever had, you know, instead mm -hmm. of like a sprained ankle or like a sprained wrist, but you know, it was kind of a hard thing going through it because COVID hit right after. Yeah. So it was kind of. <laughs> A longer process for me it took way longer than i expected it took like a year and a half just to get back to 100 percent. but once i got 100 percent, like it was to the point like okay i'm not gonna think about what i just went through it's time to get back to going so you know as time moving on time moving on you know i started playing again then two years like a year later i got my shoulder dislocated but i never got surgery i always play if anybody see me playing like in the big brace i always play in that brace every game just because i was protecting my shoulder then one home game here it fully came out again to the point I couldn't put it back in like I used to. So when I went to the doctor, he was like, you're going to need surgery. If you kept playing, you're going to need open shoulder surgery. I said, oh, God, please. You know, I said, okay, <laughs> we're going to get this done right now. And, you know, I want to keep playing, but I do want to protect myself. But, you know, as of right now, you know, um, the process is kind of slow. I'm not really doing a lot of rehab. Like I'm doing a lot, of, a lot of band work. But, I mean, I'd rather do something than nothing at all, just mm -hmm. sitting around. But, you know, it's kind of a – a look for me like okay if i get this so strong then i'm gonna be 100 percent one like i've never been 100 percent in college at all i've been always hurt or always going through an injury or playing against an injury but i feel like this was a, something that god was like okay you need to slow down like i need you to get back to your 100 percent self so when you do need to perform and get to that level where you need to get to then you're gonna be straight on so what i'm going through right now is a good thing for me you know i'm really just selling in like all my focus really on my rehab in school which is going good for myself so that's amazing. Yeah, good for you. So how do you think, like, your mental health went when they were told that you needed to have surgery? Oh, um, it was kind of – ah, it kind of messed me up. I ain't going to lie. Um, I called my mom on a regular basis just see, like, what should I do? Like, it's be days I just, like, wake up, like, why am I why am I going to the gym? I'm not really doing nothing. But at the same time, I still had to go to support my team through practice, film, stuff like that. But as time was going on, I got me a therapist. Nice to have somebody to talk to while I'm feeling some type of way. But that's really helping. I still got my therapist today, so – I got therapy, it really was a good thing just to talk to somebody who didn't know who I actually am. So, like, when I'm going through a depression or, like, a sad moment, I call her anytime, like, I need to talk. And I could be there for, like, two, three hours just talking about how I actually feel. And once I get out that th that therapy session, I felt way much better because all that weight just got off my shoulder for sure. Uh, and real quick from the text line, um, if you ever need a good meal, just relax, too. John in Cortland says you can eat with us plain burgers and steak. So he's got you hooked <laughs> up for that. <laughs> Awesome. I feel like I've heard so many athletes say they have like therapists and like how helpful it is. Oh, absolutely. Like, I feel like I need to look into that. Oh, oh, I thought you had one. I don't have one, which I need to look into. Your mom is your therapist. My mom's my therapist, my <laughs> built-in best friend therapist, literally. Yeah, I feel like especially for student athletes with your guys' schedules, like mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the biggest problem with therapy is people assume there's something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, nah, you just need events sometimes. Exactly. Like if you're not saying anything, like there's one day it's probably going to gonna hit you at once and you're you're gonna be off for a day a week like who knows how long you sink into maybe not a depression but just some weird states so like it bottling it up like that you know have you have you thought about it a lot like just venting or finding a therapist or is it just crossing your mind talking like, to this Yuan is the here? second time in like this week that i've heard people having it but like i feel like i've been to like my roommates and like my mom you know like girls yeah, are different sometimes you're i feel like your friends can be therapists mm -hmm. it just kind of all depends i guess like how you see them because like for me you know it's probably my family too like mm -hmm. i don't because they they're there and they listen but it just kind of depends like sometimes you got things going on that your parents just never dealt with themselves yeah so it's hard to go for them for advice so kind of after that injury you know when when did you kind of start getting that confidence back i know obviously right now you're not doing a ton of work on it yet you're just kind of doing band work but how's it feeling and how's that confidence growing oh um, so i would say i like Probably like three weeks ago, I legit fully got my sling on. So he told me that I already felt like, okay, it's time to get to work now. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not really doing anything special, but at the same time, like I'm out of this restricted sling. So at this point, like, okay, I'm getting this confidence back to the point, okay, I'll forget 100%. I don't care how long it's going to take, 1% each day is, a, is something good for me. So, you know, as of right now, my confidence is building back up to like where it would be. So, like, right now, it's not fully there, but it's, it's coming along for sure.
Do you think if we arm wrestled, who would win? But did that break your confidence? I mean, we won't, <laughs> if you want to go on my dominant hand, you definitely going down. But this left hand, hey, you definitely got it. I'm not risking that at all. Oh, my gosh. That's <laughs> funny. How are stairs going? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, stairs is going fine. A little, fine? a little bit huffing and puffing. Yeah. But, hey, we get up there. Trust me. You're we get up there. It. You're getting back. Yeah. yeah you guys course. are running stairs? Nah, she get on me because I told her one day, like, I'm out of shape right now. Kind of work out, like. Almost two months. So okay. while, I walk, while I walk upstairs, I'd be like kind of out of out of gas. That's the sure. first sign yeah. when you know you need to get back in yeah. the lab. You're like, oh oh, these so, stairs are causing me problems. Okay. <laughs> we all can't be a Megan Walker track star. Oh so my so. gosh! <laughs> it's all those candy bars you're eating. That's what. Hey, shout out to Mr. Good Boy. Hey, <laughs> we need you know, your deal. Come on. Oh my gosh! You might be. I don't know who all eats those. You might be the first person that I've known. They, it there are people that I wonder at station who all eats those because that one always sits that in the yellow Starburst. Those are always uh-huh. at the bottom of the pile. There's some untouchables. Yellow Starburst are not it. That's not I'm not it. grabbed from that candy bucket yet. Really? No. I'm not a candy person. Yes, we know. You more of a lettuce, tomato, <laughs> avocado, cucumber person. I've just grown up and it was just like clean food. I don't know. My parents never like acclimated me to like sugars and sweets. I, f- I fell into the zebra cakes trap <sighs> at a young age and that did me dirty. <laughs> it set, me it set a sweet tooth in me early on. I got out of Little Debbie's. Thank God. I'd probably be 300 pounds if I didn't find a way out. Oh <laughs> you know? They were so good. But yeah, that sweet tooth will get you. Oh, definitely. Uh, but anyways, kind of get off the subject of food here a little bit. We do got another question uh, from the text line. Uh, Nebraska basketball fan says, uh, what's up, Juwan? Is there any part of your game you'd like to work on for next year? If so, what would it be? Um, It would definitely be my jump shot. You know, everybody know Coach Fred was a great shooter when he growing up, you know, playing the NBA college, stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um. I'll say my IQ for sure. You never could get enough of learning the basketball for sure. Um, IQ, basketball, shooting, handles, just an overall game. Like you never have a space that you can't work on. So definitely all my game for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And again, sorry, Hamid text line 402 464 5685. We have uh, Juwan Gary in here uh, from the Nebraska basketball and then Megan Walker from the track team, both in here. So you guys can ask some questions or watch on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter on or on Allo on channel 951. Uh, you catch all our stuff there. Um, but so kind of, you know, your defense, was that something it's pretty obvious for Nebraska fans. I think that's the thing people noticed first was the blocks, the rebounding, just the length that you're able to provide on the court. Mm-hmm. Was that something you grew into later in your career or early on where you would score um, a defense was kind of second? Um, like I, I'm from South Carolina. I'm a, I'm a person that people don't really know about. Like South Carolina is a small, well, I come from not a small city, but nobody, I was talking about we come from like a D1 area, but mm-hmm. you know, I'm a, I call myself a dog. If anyone knows what a dog <laughs> is, like that's a person that get down and dirty and do all the dirty work. But defense is something I t- took pride of because in the day, like if somebody like having a struggle time trying to score me, I'll make the game way harder for him to the point it's making it way easier for me because if you don't score no points, I'm doing all the work I can do. But defense is something I just took pride of in college for sure. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I got both guys in here. I, I'm curious what as student athletes, what you guys think. Did you guys watch the women's championship game uh, with Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese? I was at the TV yelling. I okay. was yelling at the TV the whole time yesterday. <laughs> it's, uh, so did you guys have any beef with how Angel Reese or Caitlin Clark handled that whole thing? Because um, both, I mean, what I'm referring to is um, before Caitlin Clark and her playoff run did the You Can't See Me. And then after Iowa lost, LC won the championship. Uh, Angel Reese followed her around for like maybe 10, 15. It was a little <laughs> lengthy. So there was a little extra on there doing the you can't see me and then going pointing at a ring finger. Mm-hmm. Like, do you guys as student athletes have any problem with that? Knowing that she was the one that kind of Caitlin Clark was the one that kind of started it. And then you can argue Angel Reese might have took another step. But nonetheless, is there any lines, you know, crossed for you guys seeing that situation? Mm, I don't think I, like I said, it's basketball. Like, like, it's kind of where I land. It's mm-hmm. basketball. Like, okay, they talking trash. Like, say, like, but they judging it because they women. If a guy does it, it's no problem. Like, okay, oh, he's talking trash. Okay, cool. Like, it's a great matchup. But a girl does it, it's a whole problem now, which I don't see why. Because yeah. at the end of the day, like, they are still basketball players. So, like, when Caitlyn does, it, okay, that's her thing. Okay, when Angel does it, that's her thing. Because then they she showed and proved like what she deserved. Like, okay. It's taunting. Okay, it's basketball, and they like they not fighting. They ain't doing no. Okay, it's just basketball. But like I said, it's, it's no thing. It's more problem than me. I liked it. I loved it very much. <laughs> Made it interesting. I very thought. interesting. And, for uh, sure. Because you know who's back next year? Reese. You know who's back? 
Clark. Exactly. They're, they're going to have another run. And do you have any problems with that as a student athlete? I feel like track is very different than basketball. So, like, I'm going to view it differently than, like, Juwan does. Because, like, mm. track isn't, like, as A little more individual. Yeah. So, like, I just feel like, I don't know. Like, I don't see it as necessary. Like, okay. I don't see. I don't know. I just don't like to get into, like, drama about other stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know. That's, not, that's just me, though. I mean, that's a fair opinion. Like, mm-hmm. you're just on the side. That's kind of the way DP leans. He's like... I don't care if it's men or girls like his argument wasn't this is a problem. You know, now he's always kind of hated that stuff. So I can I can see both sides. Like if you're a person that you think that doesn't belong in the game, like he doesn't think it's funny when Pat but Patrick Beverly does it either. You know, <laughs> when he's hitting LeBron with the too small, you know, he doesn't. So like there's both sides. For me, I'm kind of the same way. I like the competitiveness. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if you're going to be doing that as a great player and if you, you have to watch the before and after because they respected Caitlin Clark. Yeah, definitely. you know, they said it before the game, like, wow, it's kind of crazy to be going up against her. Like they, they recognize she's a great. Um, but yeah, I just I didn't really have any problems with it. You got you guys got a uh, picks for tonight. Oh, man, I'm going I'm probably going with UConn just because San Diego State, like I said, San Diego State beat my old team, Alabama. Yeah. Um, like I said, there's a bunch of dolls on that team for sure, a bunch of veteran guys, but at the same time, you know, UConn, you know, got a lot of experience in the national championship. So but it's gonna be a great game. You never you never know. It's March. It's March Madness. You never know what's gonna happen at all. So Yeah, look at the final four. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> got that. Megan, okay. UConn? Or... I'd say UConn because I wanted to go there for a school. Oh, so okay. that's okay. the only reason. Okay. Well, that yeah. being said there, um, I'll probably lean UConn too, just the way they've kind of been dominating, but Honestly, with San Diego State's defense taking down Alabama, mm-hmm. number one offense coming into the tournament, like it kind of who knows what can happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Jawan said, it is March Madness, but we'll throw it to break here on Speed and Power on 93.7 The Ticket, TicketFM.com. We'll be back right after this break. This is Jay Foreman. I wore gear to protect my health on the football field, and I'm protecting it now by staying up to date with the bivalent COVID vaccine. Get up to date while it's still free and stay protected. Learn more at HealthyLincoln.org. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric is the call I make when I have a need for plumbing services. Whether it's for my home or office, if I need a repair to a water heater, softener, or even my garbage disposal, I know I can count on Action to help. In one simple call, their amazing customer service team promptly schedules a service call, often getting to my needs within a day. Action delivers honest quality services we can count on. To learn more, visit actionlincoln.com. How was your drive to school? Let me tell you. I had to get my iced coffee first. I just can't seem to put it down. My favorite rapper just announced a tour. My phone was buzzing like crazy. I'm so excited. I had to text all my friends right then to talk about it. Then someone started calling me and... Let's try that again. I turned my phone off right away. I never drive distracted. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. The dangers of secondhand smoke are well known. But what about secondhand aerosol, which is created when using e-cigarettes? Science already shows that secondhand aerosol can contain nicotine, heavy metals, and cancer-causing agents. Eliminating exposure to secondhand aerosol is an important step to keeping everyone safe. Breathe easier knowing the facts. For help quitting, call the Nebraska Tobacco Quit Line. 1-800-QUIT-NOW. 1-800-784-8669. Paid for by Tobacco Free Nebraska. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Public schools are the cornerstones of our communities. And it's communities that ensure students have great public schools. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. Learning happens at home, in school, and everywhere in between. We all have a role to play in supporting student learning in the classroom and beyond. Help us make this the best school year yet. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. Are you looking for a solid, stable career in assembly, CNC machining, or injection molding? We got you covered. Hi, Bob Williams, HR Director for Garner Industries, a world-class manufacturer with a 70-year history right here in Lincoln. And I just listed some great career opportunities that you can find by logging into GarnerIndustries.com. If you want top pay, excellent benefits, flexible work hours, and the opportunity to work in a clean, modern, air-conditioned facility with great people, contact me today by applying online at GarnerIndustries.com. If you're in Lincoln, Waverly, or the surrounding area, listen up. Select Plumbing gets it right the first time on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, 
backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate at 402-560-6197. Plus, they're hiring service plumbers. If you're in Lincoln, Waverly, or the surrounding area, contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402-560-6197. Finally, a good reason to have a smart house. Just say, Alexa, play 93.7 The Ticket, and we'll magically start playing. How's it work? Nobody knows. Don't ask questions. Neil Armstrong waited six hours and 39 minutes to step onto the surface of the moon. Jackie Robinson waited 20 months to play his first game with the Brooklyn Dodgers. And even DiCaprio had to wait 22 years to win an Oscar. You can wait until your destination. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy, or you, your best man, your worst man, you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. While one in three adults has pre-diabetes, with early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. That's doihaveprediabetes.org. Wait, did they just say one in three adults has pre-diabetes? That's 33.33333% of adults. That means it could be me, my boss, or my boss's boss, or me, my favorite sister, or my other sister. That's seven members of my 21-person romantic book club. <gasps> Wait, the one in three could be me, my karaoke partner, Carol, or ugh, my karaoke enemy, Jeff. I'm going to take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. Back to the Ticket Weeknights on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome back to Speed and Power on 93.7 The Ticket. Quick shout out to Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service for advanced agriculture and much more. Acres, solution for every field. I'm your host, Megan Walker, and I'm here with Harrison and men's basketball, Jawan Gary. So, yeah, what did we talk? We didn't talk about anything over the break. No, it was the first time where we just kind of, well, I was chasing down my water bottle. Mm -hmm. That took me for a little while. (laughs) One was just vibing over here. Yeah, you know, having a good time, man. Having a good time. Have sure. you eaten any of your food yet from Lincoln's Pub? I had about six fries. Six yeah. fries. How were they? They were good. It's good, yeah. as, good as seasoning. Definitely good as seasoning. I like the fries. They're, they're extra. They got the, a little bit of extra breading on them. Mm-hmm. They're thick cut. That's. Oh, yeah. I don't like. You guys ever have the Freddy fries? Yes. I do not like Freddy's. I love Freddy's. I'm out on the fries though. Oh, okay. I'll get the cheese curds if I'm Definitely. feeling dangerous <laughs> yeah. that day. But. <laughs> So, yeah. uh, but nonetheless, we were talking. I asked what your favorite band was because Megan's gonna have to find some new music here pretty soon. You got a favorite? Okay, like or even a genre? A genre? Okay, right now I'm listening to a lot of Young Gravy. I'm gonna be honest. Who is Young Gravy? You don't know who Young Gravy is? That's a Midwest. I swear that's got to be a Midwest thing. guy because yeah. all my all my friends found him, yeah. and I was like, who is this guy? Isn't he from the Midwest? Yeah, he's oh he's from Lincoln, Nebraska. I think actually. Yeah. Yeah. He's actually pretty popular now. Uh, it's not my type, mm-hmm. but uh. It's good production value. I'll give yeah. it that much. And he's doing really well. Or it's like Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi's my favorite. Really? It's yeah, actually your favorite? That's legit my favorite. That's one cool. one. Mm-hmm. How about you, Juwan? I'm a straight seven boy. So I'm like YB as young boy. Yep. I'm going gonna young thug. <laughs> I listen to all the rappers that's like Atlanta from Atlanta to Memphis. I love it. So. Mess with that. Do you listen to music before you play a game? Of course. And it's crazy because I listen to old R&B music before every game. So like straight Keith Sweat, <laughs> SWV, oh Beyonce, Rihanna, I listen to all that. So smooth and calm. I love that. I feel like it's weird because like some athletes like need music, but other athletes like just like to be in their head. Yeah, I I definitely prefer music. That's kind of like the guys I see working out with no music. Mm-hmm. You just build different. That's some true. people are like that. They just like to be in their own head with their own thoughts, going through it, whatever anxiety they're going through. Mm-hmm. Are you? Pre, pre-music before your events or do you just kind of lock in with your mind when i was in high school i had headphones that i'd like always listen to music with but then i was clocked by this guy so never ever <laughs> since i have not listened to music while i warm up or like anything that's so, yeah. fair enough so that's... i'm just like thinking <laughs> so yeah that's what i do that's definitely fair in those kind of traumatized because i think at the track meets like you're not allowed to have headphones on uh probably not i guess i didn't yeah. think about that it's a dangerous sport man 
Are there any other weird rules and track meets that you guys can't have down there now that we're kind of on the subject? No, but like your spikes, like that's a rule. Like you got to check your shoes before you run. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's weird. We but... had some people in high school get DQ'd for illegal spikes. I never knew what the illegal ones were, mm -hmm. but you ever do track? No, nah, I was one. So I was going to be the high jumper. I jump mad high. Yeah. What's your that. vert? Like a 43. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's right now. Okay. Especially with your build. High jump seems yeah. like right up your alley. Mm -hmm. Did you try it or you just like, nah, I thought about it. I was definitely forced to play basketball. I try every sport. I try football, baseball. I almost tried soccer one time. <laughs> my mom said, you're not doing it. You're too tall. We are basketball family. Cool. you my dude. So I got you. I'm you can try basketball. out for the track team. I going to kill me the first day. Y'all going to laugh at me, embarrass me all day. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. But yeah. Yeah, that'd be tough. If you uh, had to do another track event, you know, or not even track band. You had to pick another sport. Say you're a dual athlete in Nebraska. What's what's your next one? Definitely playing football. I'm gonna be a tight end, a tight end or a quarterback. I got an arm. I could throw about a smooth 65 yards to 70, but wide receiver or tight end, I could definitely be that. I get my speed up, wide receiver for sure. But right now, tight end, kind of slow but kind of fast. That's cool. You like the physicality or more like a receiving tight end? Yeah, I like the physicality. Ain't no wrong physicality. As long as you don't like, you know, do no legal, legal things, I'm totally fine. But I could take a hit to yeah. a certain extent, though. Because there's there's definitely a different breed of tight ends. You got the Gronks that are just going to bully you to death. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, you kind of got the guys we had in Nebraska, like the Allens, just kind of tall, late, good blockers, but definitely the strikes more just in the open field getting those high point gronk's just kind of he probably yeah. is just the great he just literally does it all for you his name just tells how great speed is <laughs> are you a trash talker yes of course really like a, really bad or just like a little bit i will look at you and be like i will laugh at you and be like ha you can't guard me or something like that like it's very funny but at the same time I'm very serious because people really can't guard me so i'm gonna tell you you can't guard me but i'm not i'm a bit trash talk just because how i was raised for sure mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good answer do you ever you ever play teams that because in high school there's some teams they play they legit play dirty and i just remember as a young kid being the first time experiencing that like having people just like elbow me right in the ribs mm -hmm. into, over and over and i'm like oh this isn't an accident this is what these guys are doing have you ever ran into a situ situation like that definitely because it'd be majority of the coaches who would tell them like yeah, okay that's like, what it was for us. <laughs> like go and out there and play it. dirty because they like in their head the coach is like oh he's soft so do what you gotta do but you know i definitely ran to a lot of teams who play dirty just because of what they coach tell them to do how do you handle that when um, they're playing dirty to keep yourself out of trouble i'm a very composure guy you know and i don't let it affect my game or give me out my game because in the day like you just doing this just for the benefit of trying to show how dirty a player you are but in the day like it's not stopping me from playing my game so in the day this part of the game at this point yeah absolutely yeah. And you never ran into any trash talking i think we've talked about this no i haven't oh. i'm a very calm person it'd be hard in track too you know i'm gonna this weekend in arizona i'm gonna trash talk someone and let you know how it goes careful <laughs> you and yeah, yeah. she's not doing that she's gonna have a great clean event well, she's i'm not just kidding it was just a joke yeah <laughs> <laughs> i love that so wait when did you start basketball what age Probably the age of mm, probably the age of three or four, I started at my church league um, with my uncle Ashley. Um, my uncle been my coach from church league to I would say middle school. Oh, uh, he been my coach. He been the person that actually pushed me to be a great player. So like when I was a kid, I had asthma, so um, <laughs> I used to have my pump. So every time I'd be wheezing, it it was one day in practice. We used to have like late practices. It was one day we was doing sprints. And I was wheezing. I said, I need my Haley. He looked at me, say, bump that Haley, you running the whole time. And every, <laughs> since, and every time I run and think about it, Haley, I'm like, nah, I can't even do it. Because I think he around looking at me. But <laughs> yeah, amazing. but nah, definitely. My, my uncle was definitely a big influence of like who I am today, for sure. Was it love, like the first time you ever did it? Or did you have to like grow to love it? Um, definitely. I had to, it was definitely, mm, had to grow to love it, for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely, for sure. You got a favorite NBA team? NBA team? Ah, NBA is definitely different now. I can't have no NBA team, but what about players? Because it is a different league in the sense that now it's so many players with short term commitments. Mm -hmm. I don't even blame people for being players or fans anymore. It's mm -hmm. like, man, it's tough. Yeah. I was like, like just I've had these moments where I've just been like, oh yeah, this is the team. And then no, everyone's gone next season. So, you know, do you have any players that you really like? Um, my favorite player, so nobody would I don't think nobody would ever know who this is. So his name is Dwayne Bacon. Um, he's a player for Charlotte Hornets. Now he's overseas. Um, I've been watching Dwayne Bacon since I probably was in fifth grade, sixth grade, from the time he played in Florida. He went to Florida State, 
got drafted to the Hornets. Um, this that's that's just my favorite player at all time. Like Dwayne Bacon is definitely my favorite player. That's my idol at all. Wow, that's amazing. Good for you. I love that you have a role model in your life. Do you yeah. still look up to him? Oh, of course. I actually met him. He asked, okay, so his family actually stay in Charlotte because his little brother played for my mentor AAU program. Um, I met him in Charlotte. And when, I, when he walked in the gym, my heart legit stopped. So I'm like, oh, God, I'm finally, like, it's him. So I'm like, all right. I said, coach. I said, I said, no, I want to meet him. He said, you want to meet him? I said, yeah. So we talked, we chat. You know, he was a a very chill guy. He was a very calm, very, you know, very truthful what I needed to ask, stuff like that. But yeah, when I met him, it definitely was a great moment for me, for sure. So you fangirled pretty hard? Definitely, definitely <laughs> fangirl. That's the only time I said I fangirl. Besides that, I would never be a fangirl. So no other person you'd fangirl over? Who? Anybody? Oh, yeah. You know, I got like Cola Ray. Definitely a fangirl. Cola Ray. Ice like Spice. Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna, yeah. you'd fangirl? Yeah. yeah. Ice Spice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fangirl all the oh yeah, my definitely. gosh that's hilarious who would you fangirl over fangirl over yeah mm. i mean it's kind of it's basic but i think beyonce is just kind of everyone yeah. yeah that's true like especially after that super bowl performance what was that was that uh when when, when was that performance i don't actually date but it was just recent a couple no it wasn't recent no, it was this year who was this year? I'm forgetting. She was pregnant. Oh, was yeah. Rihanna this year. Rihanna Wait, was this she year. pregnant? I think so. Or that or just coming off pregnancy. I remember there's a whole bunch of like TikToks about it. Yeah, I don't know. People were freaking out about her weight. And I was like, she looks good still. It's yeah. Fine. Oh, <laughs> She's going to kill it no matter <laughs> yeah, what. Like, I'm, I'm right. over it. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, I was kind of over there. We do have the March Madness final going on right now. But don't worry. You can still catch the streams. We're still streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. And we're still on Allo Channel 951. Uh, but we do have the March Madness game live on 93.7 The Ticket on the FM airwaves. Um, so, again, if you want to watch, listen to that, you can through 93.7 The Ticket FM. If not, go to the streams, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, and Allo, and you can uh, join Juwan Gary and Megan Walker. Um, so what would you get on the subject? Were we talking about his favorite artist? Oh, we were talking about how he met his idol. Oh, okay. And how he fangirled over him. Oh, you actually met? Yeah, I actually met Dwayne Bacon, actually. No way. Because his, his family actually stays in Charlotte, North Carolina. And that's where I play AAU at. So when I met him, it was kind of a big deal for me. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> Did you know uh, CJ McCollum has a brother that's just been dominating overseas for years? Mm -mm. I found that out. Through, like, his numbers are crazy. For real? Yeah. And I just like, I was like, oh, CJ McCollum had a brother. I'm surprised his brother never made it to the NBA. CJ is tough. Yeah, he's got to be up there. CJ definitely top shooting guards up there for sure. Yeah, I love. I just like true point guards too. Uh, I you, I'm a Bulls fan, so mm -hmm. I I liked Lonzo Ball. His knee is just I don't know what's going uh, on with him. So it's a crazy thing about it. so my my day one best friend is Patrick Williams. Okay, I played with Patrick Williams. No kidding. I went to high school, played with him. Um, I basically grew up with Pat, so no, that's my day one best friend. What was he kind of like growing up? Pat was he was quiet, but he he's funny when he around people he knows. Okay, but like he was always on that type of time. Okay, he know what he going with life. So like his mom was very strict. Um, both his brothers went overseas. Um, played mm -hmm. professional basketball, but Patrick Patrick definitely was a player. We like okay, he's gonna make it. Like just from being a six ten six nine, um, shooting like small four who could shoot the ball dribbling. He yeah. was definitely gonna be a pro. But I'm very proud of him what he's doing right now. Yeah, when he got to the Bulls for a little while, there's like ah, it's not. It's just not happening. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden now you can tell he's finding his rhythm. And I, I think for him too, kind of like you said, like he can shoot. And once that's going in for him, mm -hmm. like it just makes him a completely different player. Like try trying to close out. How tall is he? He's six ten. I don't know how tall Pat is now. He when he left when I left around, he was probably like a smooth six nine, six ten. But you know, you get in that league, a lot of things be changing there. Like you go grow another inch or another foot. So yeah, what did he grow? Like another? He grew like after college, he grew like another three, four inches. It was yeah. something ridiculous because mm -hmm. he went to like the an NBA uh, like draft prospect, and they were doing all the measurements, and it's like, oh, he grew yeah. <laughs> even more. <laughs> you got a you got an NBA team? I've never asked you this. Not really. I don't really like pay attention to like pro basketball like that. You care about basketball, like uh, like I care about NBA Nebraska basketball. Yeah, Nebraska yeah. hoops. But like NBA, has there ever been a moment? Not really. I don't think so. I'm more okay. of like a football girl. Oh god, that's me. NFL team? Vikings. Okay, I can accept that. Yeah, because it's, it's South Dakota. Yeah, so it's, like that's my only team. I it's got close enough. Yeah, it's exactly. kind of like you get to Nebraska. It's all the NFC North teams. It's mm -hmm. like your Vikings, Packers, Bears, Literally. Lions. Yeah. Poor Lions fans, but I'm a Bears <laughs> fan, so I can't really talk that much oh, either. That's crazy. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, whoever won the Super Bowl. 
Oh, so you're a bandwagon. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Full weight. I don't care what y'all say. Whoever wins Super Bowl, I'll root for them. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, that's crazy. So if, like, the Chiefs don't win it next year, you're going to be rooting for the next Super Bowl winner? Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. I, I, I wear one jersey. They win. I'm wearing their jersey right there. <laughs> I don't care. Commitment right there. Yeah, there was a wave of... Uh, Chief bandwagon fans that Chawan's one of them. Yeah, that's there's one of them. I mean, honestly, around here though, you kind of get a you get a get out of jail free card because we don't have a team. It's not like there's mutiny. You're not a traitor because we don't we don't have one. Exactly. You're just going purely totally, off a distance. Totally fine. Uh, let's see uh, from uh, John and Cortland. Uh, he says, "Have a great evening. Wings on your feet, run like hell." And he also want to know um, when's your next home meet. Next home meet, we don't have another home meet till next indoor season. Next indoor. Yep, so we'll be traveling everywhere for outdoor season. Okay, so sorry, John. It looks like you're going to have to travel um, if you do want to catch the track team. Um, and he also says, keep balling, uh, keep pushing, appreciate it. Go Big Red. Uh, so appreciate you, John and Cortland, for chiming in. And as we're kind of getting to the break here, um, actually, I got to pull up the commercial loop. So, Megan, I'll throw it to you real quick while I pull this up since we're now not streaming, or excuse me, now not on the airwaves. Got a question? Oh, do I got a question? Oh, I got a question for you. Okay, so what are your dreams and aspirations for after you graduate Nebraska? Um, I was gonna go on my plan A, just become a professional athlete. Um, as of now, like, you know, the more I got older, like, you know, it's not really about just making the NBA. It's more about you know, go somewhere that you feel comfortable, but you could play basketball and still get paid. So you know, just be a professional athlete. Definitely something. Agriculture is the economic um, engine yeah, of the Midwest. Like said, get my degree. Get professional. Um, if a professional standpoint don't work out for me, I'm always going to join the fashion world. I love design, so that's definitely something I'm looking forward to. I've seen that on your Instagram. Yeah, it looks like you do well with that. You always been into fashion? Oh, definitely. I love fashion. Love Can you not it. see by his fit? This is a calm, out of the bed <laughs> fit right here. <laughs> I love that. So outside of basketball, you're very just like fashion, or do you do anything else? Um, that's ah, that's it. Fashion world. I love the shop. I was spend legit over probably like a thousand dollars just on some clothes and some shoes like right now my mom trying to stop me from buying shoes <laughs> but it's not gonna happen because i would buy the shoes she get mad for like 10 seconds it's do and done so at this point i just love it what's sure. your shoe brand what's your favorite you got a series <sighs> so i got a bunch of classic so i got a bunch of like 07s 03 okay three jordan so I, I got the 07 cardinal sevens i got the 07 military fours uh i think i got the 04 or 03 powder blue jordan 14 so like all my shoes like a bunch of classic shoes absolutely uh, with that being said though we are at the top of the break here we'll throw out the break on 93.7 the ticket this is speed and power i'm harrison arns megan walker juan gary we'll be back right after this break nebco is hiring cdl drivers for ready mix concrete husker concrete and beatrice concrete nebco offers great pay medical and retirement benefits paid time off and we pay for cdl training apply today to earn an average total compensation of 50 to sixty thousand dollars your first year driving from nebco's beginnings in 1908 it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation start your career today visit nebcoinc.com that's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C dot com. At Doan University, you can play a sport you love and also receive a world-class education. You'll learn leadership skills on and off the court that will set you up for success long after graduation. Doan isn't a place where you get lost. It's a place to get found, and it's a place where your future is uniquely yours. Learn more about the endless possibilities at Doan University today at doan.edu. March is a month of good luck, from epic runs in state basketball to watching Cinderella spring the upset in college basketball. And of course, St. Patrick's Day. Luck is on your side at Mullen Motors, too, because their lot is full of great vehicles to take home. Come check out their lot just north of 48th and Layton and find your next ride as summer road trips are just around the corner. Your luck starts this month at Mullen Motors. No tagline, just quality vehicles. Mullen Motors. This is Jay Foreman. When I played football for Nebraska and in the NFL, I wore protective gear to safeguard my health. Today, I'm not only protecting my health, but everyone in our community by staying up to date with the bivalent COVID vaccine. Update your protection with the bivalent COVID vaccine while it's still free. Find out more at HealthyLincoln.org. That's HealthyLincoln.org. 
Guys, when I first started with Barrels Extreme Body Shaping, I weighed in at over 300 pounds. Now, less than a year later, I'm under 200 pounds for the first time since high school. I'm stronger, I'm healthier, and it all began with the Ferrell's 10-Week Challenge. 10 weeks of kickboxing, strength training, and guided nutrition coaching to help you reach your fitness goals. Their next 10-Week Challenge begins on April 8th. If you're wanting to change your life like I have, head to theticketfm.com and click on Enroll Now on the homepage. Plus, get a promo code for a discount just for ticket listeners. Ferrell's Extreme Body Shaping. March is full of high school state basketball action, the NCAA tournament, baseball season starting up, all great things that also cause a lot of stress. Instead of letting your nerves get the best of you and cause uncomfortable tightness, get ahead of all of it with a massage from The Body Shop. The Body Shop in Lincoln is your place for all types of massages, deep tissue, hydrating, sports, Swedish, hot stone, aroma, and more. And don't forget about their couples massages. Book your appointment today at thebodyshoplincoln.com. The Body Shop at 48th and A. Spring is here. It's time to get back outside and into proper shoes this year. Brown Shoe Fit is the place to buy this spring with their sale on athletic shoes. Get $10 off any athletic shoes $105 and under and get $15 off any shoe over $105. Choose from respected brands like Hoka, Brooks, New Balance, On, and 361 Running. And don't forget the trendy Hey Dudes. A new shipment just arrived for the season. Start your spring off right at Brown Shoe Fit, just south of 66 and Q in Lincoln. Integrated Life Choices has been inspiring opportunities for individuals with disabilities for more than 15 years in Lincoln by offering a number of services. From group homes for special needs adults to independent living resources and job training, you'll find the intellectual and developmental disability services your loved one needs to live a fulfilling life. They're also hiring. If you're looking for a more rewarding career, learn more about available positions. Learn more about services for your loved ones or employment today at ILC.net. Integrated Life Choices. Nebco is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mix Concrete, Husker Concrete, and Beatrice Concrete. Nebco offers great pay, medical, and retirement benefits, paid time off, and we pay for CDL training. Apply today to earn an average total compensation of fifty to sixty thousand dollars your first year driving. From Nebco's beginnings in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NebcoInc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O. INC.com. At Doan University, you can play a sport you love and also receive a world class education. You'll learn leadership skills on and off the court that will set you up for success long after graduation. Doan isn't a place where you get lost, it's a place to get found, and it's a place where your future is uniquely yours. Learn more about the endless possibilities at Doan University today at doan.edu. March is a month of good luck, from epic runs in state basketball to watching Cinderella spring the upset in college basketball. And of course, St. Patrick's Day. Luck is on your side at Mullen Motors, too, because their lot is full of great vehicles to take home. Come check out their lot just north of 48th and Layton and find your next ride as summer road trips are just around the corner. Your luck starts this month at Mullen Motors. No tag on, just quality vehicles, Mullen Motors. Back to the Ticket Weeknights on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, welcome back to Speed and Power on 93.7 The Ticket. Quick shout out to Acres, your premier John Deere dealer. Acres offers a full lineup of compact tractors and mowers for homeowners with large yards and acres. Acres, solution for every field. I'm your host, Megan Walker, and I'm here with Harrison and Juwan Gary from the Huskers basketball team. And we had a lot of talking over break. Yeah, we got back to the uh, BFR. Yeah, we blood did. flow restriction. Yes, and Juwan, tell us a little bit about how that went for you your first time. Oh God, I went downhill, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I started <laughs> crying. But Real nah. quick, BFR, just to explain it, and then uh, so people knows what he's talking about. Um, they just tie off basically your leg, right, or any any limb that has the injury restricts all your blood flow all the amino basically all the amino acids are forced to come out so every crevice between every muscle you have those acids that you feel when you're sore so it's your entire leg so mm -hmm. go ahead um i would say like so my freshman year i was at alabama i took my acl um so after my surgery and stuff like that my trainer was like we're gonna get on this machine called a bfr so i'm like, I'm like what's the bfr like i'm a freshman in college so like you know we i'm used to this high tech stuff so i'm like all right bet so it's a machine that, like he said, you know, just restrict every blood flow, your like leg, like ligament and stuff like that. So 
putting on my legs. I'm like, all right, it's getting kind of tight. So, you know, you start doing workouts, and I'm like, okay, I can't do this to the point. Like, my legs numb. I can't really move my feet. My toes gone. So, like, I started crying the first time. Don't get me wrong. I definitely <laughs> cried the first time. But at the time, you know, I realized how much effect it had on my leg to the point, like, my leg was way more stronger than my leg that was already fine. So, for sure, it was definitely – a bad thing at first, but it got, well, I got through it for sure. It was definitely good. Oh, your injured leg actually turned out to be stronger after that? Yeah, definitely. Damn, that's, that's pretty good results. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Did you have that same kind of response? I didn't you didn't I do really it as long. That. No, yeah. I only did it for like a few days, but I feel like everyone should experience a BFR. Definitely. I kind of want to just try it now, just to just to see the pain. Then mm -hmm. I can relate because every student athlete that comes in here tells me about it. I'm like, it's a good thing to experience. It really makes you think about life. It must. And like your goal and purpose. Here. <laughs> so I think the majority of student athletes I've said shed at least a tear. Yeah. In the process. Yeah, literally. Oh my gosh. I wonder how many student athletes have done it. I don't know. How many people do you see in there at UNL? Take going in for that. Do you see it? Do you hear it a lot? I just, I was the first time I've ever seen that thing. Like when I did it. Maybe they're just scarred and don't talk about it. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> just they just give it on. to the tough people. Maybe that's what it is. Exactly. So you should not be on there. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> we were just talking about how I could beat you in a race. I mean, you're a track star, of course. I'm a, I'm a basketball player. My, the only run I'm doing is up and down foul. I could 1v1 you. No. I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty rowdy. That's cool. <laughs> you're a freshman. I'm a, I'm a vet. It's a lot. 22 that's i don't know because you're a junior basketball i'm a junior basketball, basketball, basketball but in class i'm a senior yeah that's crazy still love in school no i'm, <laughs> I'm so ready to go oh, when that degree get in my hand <laughs> it might be the first day i could have backflip aren't all of your classes online though so your life is not that hard it is because mm -hmm. online first of all you know how hard it is to learn something online just from reading and not hearing any words i hate it I would personally rather have all my classes online. Yeah, because you just want to be home and you do all your work at home. It depends on the teacher. That like, is true. If I got a PowerPoint that I'm learning off of, it's going to go way worse. If I got like a lecture where she just records herself explaining the PowerPoint, I'll do way better. Like that's that's how it was for me anyways. Like the online classes is definitely like, how is this teacher going to set this up for me? Because some they are just like, here's your stuff. Go like you said, like mm -hmm. you're if I'm taking like, you know, a calc class online and I'm just getting PowerPoints. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a long year. It's crazy. So, do you spend the majority of your days at the stadium doing homework, or do you do it at home? No, I definitely stay in the stadium because when I get home, there's no doing no homework. It's so sad. It's probably more me sleeping or watching some cartoons for sure. <laughs> definitely a cartoon guy, y'all. What's your favorite? Ah, uh, right now I'm watching Johnny Test. Johnny, that's a classic. <laughs> I'm watching Johnny Test right now. Um, my favorite though, is Fairy Odd Parents. Definitely Fairy Odd Parents. You ever seen that? I've seen it once. Okay. What yeah. was your childhood like? Well, yeah. When were my you born? My childhood. I was. I'm a 2004 baby. Oh, oh my. okay. So God. I'm a little young person. So I grew up on like Martha Speaks and Curious George. Okay, Does Curious George know is still. No, nah, Martha Speaks, Curious George. I was 99. Those are familiar. Oh my gosh. I, I know what Curious funny. George is. Everyone knows that. Oh four. I feel old now. You said oh four. Where year were you born in? I'm born in oh one, but still though. Oh four is crazy. Yeah. Still the oldest in the room. Got the 99. Look at you. Just go. snuck in there. <laughs> you just made it there. <laughs> I remember uh, the kindergarten and uh, kindergarten. There's the Chinese calendar. And I was so mad because the year you're born, you get like a spirit animal. And you can imagine as a kid, you're taking that serious. Like, this is my <laughs> spirit animal. So the year 1999 is a rabbit. And That's not like, bad. 2000 is a dragon. Oh. I, was, I was like so angry. <laughs> <laughs> what is mine? I wonder. Uh, 2004. 2004. I'll I'm look really it up curious. while you fill it up real quick. What's your sign? I don't know why I wanted to ask this, but I'm asking it. I'm Aquarius. That's a good one. I'm a freaking Capricorn. That's like the stupidest I'm, I'm one. Aquarius, which I don't, I don't understand of these type of things or yes signs, but I'm That's Aquarius. Another name to you. You're an Aquarius. That's totally fine. I'm a very chill guy, laid back, <laughs> comfortable, comfortable, confident, all that. God, I love it. I feel like that's not with every person, though. You have to, like, the way you grow up and the way you live like your life, that's how you are like that. O4 Definitely. is monkey. I can I can be a monkey. What type of monkey, though? Just says monkey. I guess it's all. See, because you got, it's a, you could be a chimp or you could be an ape. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cool monkey. No, you're not. I hope you are, like, a freaking armadillo or something. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, I guess what year. Might as well look it up while we're I'm here. A, I'm a 2001 baby. Why well, should be something cool? I hope this is really bad. Why well, should be something cool? If it's gonna be like a snake or something, I'm gonna be jealous. Why well, should be like a is it a snake? 
Snake. Oh my gosh. Mamba mentality. That's pretty good. Mamba mom. mentality I'm right so there. So jealous. <laughs> see, see. I can't believe you said that. See, you want to speak something up? Well, if I was, it happens. If I were to be one, I want to be a snake. So, like, if his, oh my gosh, that makes me so mad. Mm -hmm. Mamba mentality. So, dang. He's an Aquarius and a freaking snake. No better life. The signs I'm out on. This uh, here's this really broad paintbrush. <laughs> of, that's what signs are for me. I'm like, here's a broad paintbrush that everyone can fit into, but because of your bias, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, Let's see what happens. Okay, well, who would win in basketball, a monkey or a snake? A monkey would. Depends how the bite from the snake is. Oh, he just said mama mentality, Kobe oh Bryant. Yeah, you're just not going to win that one. Well, guys, thank you so much for listening in on Speed and Power on 93.7 The Ticket. And, Juan, thank you so much for joining us. Nah, thanks for having me, for sure. Of course. Everyone have a good night.